This is problem number three from section 2.6. In this problem it says find the limit of the rational function as x approaches infinity and as x approaches negative infinity. They give us another rational and again we're going to use this property that we came up with, with in the first couple or this limit that we came up with in the first couple problems to our advantage. So we want to get some 1 over x uh, terms in this rational. In order to do that, I'm going to look at the denominator's highest, uh, highest power, which is uh, x cubed. So I'm going to say 1 over x cubed, and I'm going to multiply that on both top and bottom. And on top, I'll, I'll end up with limit as x approaches infinity. And I'll end up with, well, that'd be 2x to the fourth. We'll kind of write this out a little bit over x cubed plus this will be 8x squared over x cubed minus 1 over x cubed all over this will be 3x cubed over x cubed minus 8x over x cubed plus 9 over x cubed which will simpli simplify to 2x plus 8 over x minus 1 over x cubed all over this will be 3 minus 8 over x squared plus 9 over x cubed so I have the limit as x approaches infinity for these, this problem here, which is 2x plus 8 over x minus 1 over x cubed, all over 3 minus 8 over x squared plus 9 over x cubed. So what's going to happen here? Well, when I plug in infinity into any of these fractions, the denominator is really large, meaning these are all going to 0. So I end up with 2. And then let's just imagine plugging in a really large number here. So 2, um, I don't know, let's just use a million. No, let's use a billion. And this would be plus 0 minus 0 over 3 minus 0 plus 0. So I end up with a really large number on top divided by 3. Well, as I increase this number towards infinity, what am I, ended up, what am I going to end up getting? Well, I'm going to end up getting a larger and larger number, so that means that I am actually approaching infinity. So you can plug infinity in here, and you would say, like, it's not really a good way to uh, do the math, but 2 times infinity, well, you're just going to get infinity. Infinity divided by 3, you get infinity. So... That's another way to kind of think about it. But the limit as x approaches infinity is going to be a large number. It's just going to keep getting larger and larger as x approaches that infinity. So that means that we're approaching infinity as well. What about if we do limit as x approaches negative infinity for this problem? Well, when we plug this in, now we're going to get, let's just skip right to this step. So we'd have Instead, now 2 times negative a million, or a, sorry, a billion, plus 0 minus 0 over 3 minus 0 plus 0. Well, this is just going to give you a really large negative number. And because it's giving you a really large negative number, and you get, as you make that thing smaller and smaller, maybe now negative 10, million, 10 billion, negative a trillion, so on and so forth, you're getting closer and closer to negative infinity. So the solution, or the limit, as x approaches at negative infinity for this function, is negative infinity.